I'm happy that under these heinous sanctions imposed on our motherland Zimbabwe for the last 24 years, we have remained united. We have developed our country. Economic growth of our country is ahead of several countries that have no sanctions. Why? Because as a result of these sanctions, it has forced us as a country and as a people to develop our country, to develop our economy on the basis of our own domestic resources. Waka zwa goma sanctions zwa kuri apa hi? Zwa kuti a diswa a zwa zwa wane zwa kure ya kwa bari. My Americans recently said they are removing some of the sanctions. I say absolute nonsense. Why? In the first place, those sanctions are illegal. Yes. You can't impose sanctions on a country which is not <coughs> offended you. We have never offended the Americans. They have imposed illegal sanctions on us. Nothing short of Total removal of sanctions would please us. <clears throat> they say they are removing some of the sanctions and keeping some. We say absolute nonsense. <laughs> sanctions must go because they are unlawful. They were declared unlawful by the United Nations Security Council. These sanctions are unlawful and declared so by the United Nations Security Council. So until all sanctions are removed, do not expect us to smile because we have removed some of the sanctions. They are illegal and they must be removed in total. This has seen the revamping and upgrading of the National Railways of Zimbabwe's signaling system from analog to digital, the latest technology in the world. The fact that the project provides data links and the Wi-Fi, what's what? It are NRZ railway sidings in the station, which will in turn benefit communities along the railway, the railway network, is most commendable. Our communities who are next to the railway line will now be able to access connectivity. So, as the Second Republic consolidates Days of devolution and civilization. My Minister of Information and Communication Technology, Coastal Co uh, Korea Services, Minister Agarbarri.